Here in this video, we'll see a problem on projection of lines inclined to both the plane. This is the question in front of us. The distance between the end projectors of a straight line AB is 35 mm. The end point A is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP, while end point B is 45 mm above HP and 70 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the line and determine its inclination with HP and VP. Also find its TL that is true length. Now whenever we are solving questions related to lines inclined to both the planes, in that we have to see that if we have 5 parameters or not. So here I am going to write the data mentioning the parameters. The distance between the end projectors of a straight line AB is 35 mm. So I'll write down that is 35 Distance between end projectors 35 mm. Next, the end point A is 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Next, while endpoint B is 45 mm above HP and 70 mm in front of VP. Then, draw the projections of the line and determine its inclination with HP and VP. So, inclination with HP that is theta with VP that is phi and the TL which is true length is what we have to calculate here. So these are the parameters given and if we see here these are the five parameters available to us to solve the problem. So let us start with the solution to this question. Drawing a light horizontal line now at first I am marking 35 mm over here and then this is the xy line VPHP. After marking this 35 mm, I'll draw vertical lines through these points. So that is the distance between end projectors, which is 35 mm given. So within this distance, both the front view and the top view of the line should be completed that is the actual length in the front view EL and PL which is the actual length in the top view should end between these projectors then I'll mark point A first 10 mm above HP 20 mm in front of VP so point A will be here ten mm above HP is seen in VP 20 mm in front of VP is seen in HP. Then point B is 45 mm above HP. Seen in VP. and 70 mm in front of VP so it will be seen in HP joining these points with the help of light lines
now this is the actual length of the line in the front view and this is the actual length in the top view next after this i need to get the true length here and just before that i'll give the dimensions also for point b next here the line which i am getting this is called as locus of point b dash in the top view locus of point p then i need to get the true length so for that projecting a right line through point a similarly through a dash then after this i'll make this front view a dash b dash parallel with xy line because that is the procedure to get the true length I'll give this point notation as B2 dash projecting B2 dash down that is in HP where it intersects the locus that gives me the point B2 so joining it with point A will give me the true length in a similar manner i'll make ab parallel with xy this point will be called as b1 projecting it into the front view cutting the locus that will give me the point b1 dash i'll be joining a dash with b1 dash next here i'll make a b and a dash b dash dark because these are the actual lengths of the line Next, I'll make a dash b1 dash medium dark. Similarly, a b2. Will be medium dark. Then, I'll measure this true length first. I am getting it as 71 mm and even if the answer is 70 or 71, 72 then also it would be correct. So here I will say that therefore the TL which is the true length of line AB is equal to 71 mm which I am getting here. then the angle made by the TL which is here this angle will be called as theta because it is inclination with HP seen in VP measuring that angle 30 degree
Similarly, here is the TL in the top view. Its angle will be called as phi. Forty five degree that is the inclination of the line with VP phi is equal to forty five degree. This is the elevation length A dash B dash, and here is the PL which is plan length. A B and with this the problem is completed.